Hey fam, welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. My name is Jamie and a couple of months ago, Leia and I were very fortunate because we got to attend the global launch of the Huawei Mate 30 series in Munich. Now, despite all the controversy that it didn't ship with Google mobile services, their newest flagships is actually selling quite well because of its great feature set and the fact that you can actually sideload Google on this device. Speaking of which, Another reason why I think we were lucky is because at that time, getting Google on the Mate 30 Pro was very, very easy. You had to visit one site, get one app, and that was pretty much it, which really had me thinking, what if we weren't able to install Google then, or what if we didn't install Google at all? So in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to install the essential apps that I use on a day-to-day -day basis using Huawei's app gallery and some third-party sources. But before we get to that, I do have to say that there are two very, very essential apps that I'm not going to be able to install because they require Google services, which are YouTube and YouTube Studio. But the quick workaround for that one is just to use the browser. So we'll see what happens. Now I'm going to be starting off with something that's really easy. As we all know, Huawei has been investing a lot of money in building their own ecosystem and really beefing up their app gallery. So one of the apps that I really need is actually already on there, which is Viber. So Viber is definitely a very essential app to me, Leia, the rest of the Unbox team, and actually the entire tech mob. It's because that's where we coordinate our efforts. Although if you check our chats, it's probably like 80% Telokohan than it is business. And as you can see by the B-roll sequence I'm showing you, there's actually a lot of apps that are quite useful that are already available in the app gallery. So I'm going to be installing those as well. Now, I also found Opera in the app gallery, which is a browser I haven't used in a very, very long time. So it's going to be interesting to see how it compares to Chrome. They say that there's a built-in VPN. So yeah. Okay, so smooth sailing so far. Now it's time to go on to the next app that's actually not available in the app gallery, which is Facebook. Thankfully, it's also very easy. You can get it through their website. I'll put a link down below so you can get the official Facebook APK to make things a little simpler. And all you have to do is download that and open it up, follow the on-screen instructions, and you're done. You now have Facebook. Now this is where things get a little interesting since Messenger and Instagram aren't available in the app gallery and I don't understand why they don't offer Messenger in the official Facebook website since they're the same company and integrated in the same thing on the desktop version of Facebook. So yeah, you're gonna have to find a third party source for this one. I have my list of trusted sources and if you have your own Please leave them down below in the comment section so other people in the community can easily download trusted APKs for these two apps. Now the most important thing that I'm going to have to set up on my phone is actually my email and it looks pretty simple too. So I primarily use Gmail and I'm very thankful that the default Huawei email app actually supports it and all you have to do is follow along the on-screen prompts and I'm going to be doing this off screen so I don't mistakenly show you guys my password or my actual email address so you can spam me. So yeah, here's a step-by-step -step process of setting up your email, but it is very, very easy. So now that I have my phone set up with my essential apps, I'm gonna be checking out a couple of other things through third-party sources like games like PUBG and Mobile Legends that will work out of the box with a Mate 30 Pro. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up, sub to the channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can. For all the latest tech news and gadget reviews, head to unbox.ph plus. Follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. My name is Jamie, peace, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time.